Time to announce our next award. It is the Big Ten Sixth Man of the Year honor. And that award goes to Aaron Wiggins of Maryland. Wiggins averaged 10 points a game and four rebounds. Has a three-point shot that could be brutal on opponents. He hit six threes in a game this year, five in another. And, of course, he was a big part of the Big Ten co-championship with the Turks. Out to College Park we go now to talk with him. Aaron, good enough to join us. Uh, how'd you find out about winning this honor? Uh, this Early this morning, Coach Turgeon gave me a call, uh, and he, he, he congratulated me. He told me that, you know, I had received the award, and, uh, you know, he told me to call my family, call my parents, and let them know, and, uh, you know, he was happy for me, and he just congratulated me. What did you have to say when you found out about it? Uh, I was surprised. I was kind of in shock. Uh, I told him I appreciated him. Uh, he placed me in that role for a reason, and uh, I, was, I was successful there. So, you know, I was really happy, and I, I just thanked him for it. You said he placed you in that role. Describe what your role is on this team. Yeah, uh, so I mean, I have a couple different roles on the team in terms of leadership, you know, being a scorer on the court, but then also defensively using my ability to get steals and blocks and, you know, just be in the right spots at the right time. And uh, I believe Coach Turgeon, you know, he believes in all of my attributes and everything I can do. And uh, I mean, he just put me in the position to be as successful as I can as a player. So uh, he felt like me coming in at, uh, off the bench as a sixth player would be, you know, the best spot for me. And, uh, you know, I, f I feel like it worked out. Yeah, it seems to work out. You guys won the Big Ten regular season and all. <laughs> exactly. What, what was the best part of winning it on Sunday? Yeah, uh, I think the best part was just uh, knowing what we had done, uh, not only for ourselves as a team, but for, you know, our, our fan base, for, you know, the University of Maryland, uh, the first Big Ten championship that we've won since we've joined. Uh, and then, you know, just, just for the culture and everybody around the area, you know, I think it's really big for more than just our team itself. Was the, uh, the last week before that game a bit tense, those losses to Rutgers and Michigan State? Did you guys start to feel it a little bit? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, it, it, it got a little tough, uh, you know, going through a, a rough stretch uh, towards the end of the season. But, you know, we got a tough-minded team, guys who are determined and willing to get the job done and do whatever it takes. And, uh, you know, that's what we did yesterday. How do you summarize what the entire year has been like for you guys? Yeah, uh, the entire year, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been fun, I'd say. Uh, really competitive for our group, both in practice and uh, in game. Uh, you know, we got off to a really good start at the beginning of the season, had one of the best starts in Maryland basketball history. And, uh, you know, we hit a couple rough patches, but, you know, we have tough-minded guys who, you know, bounce back from uh, anything that they face. And uh, so we had uh, some really good stretches, a couple small little, uh, you know, challenges that we had in front of us but you know we were able to overcome and you know become regular season champions and one of the reasons why is the man that's the first one to come off the bench big 10 <laughs> six man of the year and wiggins congratulations i appreciate it thank you